The Book of Acts, chapter 3. One day Peter and John went to the temple at three o'clock in the afternoon, the hour of prayer. There at the beautiful gate, as it was called, was a man who had been lame all his life. Every day he was carried to the gate to beg for money from the people who were going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John going in, he begged them to give him something. They looked straight at him and Peter said, Look at us! So he looked at them, expecting to get something from them. But Peter said to him, I have no money at all, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I order you to get up and walk. Then he took him by his right hand and helped him up. At once the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped up, stood on his feet and started walking around. Then he went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. The people there saw him walking and were amazed because they recognised him as the beggar who sat at the beautiful gate. As the man held on to Peter and John in Solomon's porch, as it was called, the people were amazed and ran to them. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why are you surprised at this? And why do you stare at us? Do you think that it was by means of our own power or godliness that we made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob The God of our ancestors has given divine glory to his servant Jesus. But you handed him over to the authorities and you rejected him in Pilate's presence, even after Pilate had decided to set him free. He was holy and good, but you rejected him. And instead you asked Pilate to do you the favour of turning loose a murderer. You killed the one who leads to life, but God raised him from death, and we are witnesses to this. It was the power of his name that gave strength to this lame man. What you see now was done by faith in his name. It was faith in Jesus that has made him well, as you can all see. And now, my fellow Israelites, I know that what you and your leaders did to Jesus was due to your ignorance. God announced long ago through all the prophets that his Messiah had to suffer and he made it come true this way. Repent then and turn to God so that you will be forgiven of your sins. If you do, times of spiritual strength will come from the Lord and he will send Jesus who is the Messiah he has already chosen for you. He must remain in heaven until the time comes for all things to be made new, as God announced through his holy prophets who lived long ago. For Moses said, The Lord your God will send you a prophet, just as he sent me, and he will be one of your own people. You are to obey everything that he tells you to do. Anyone who does not obey that prophet shall be separated from God's people and destroyed. And all the prophets who had a message, including Samuel and those who came after him, also announced what has been happening in these days. The promises of God through his prophets are for you, and you share in the covenant which God made with your ancestors. As he said to Abraham, through your descendants I will bless all the people on earth, And so God chose his servant and sent him first to you to bless you by making every one of you turn away from your wicked ways. Verse 